Hello everyone. So today I wanted to do the mathematical proof for the basic proportionality theorem. But before doing that, it is very important that you have a clear understanding of how to find out the area of a triangle and especially how to determine the base and the height of the triangle. Uh, there's one more property that we have to talk or revisit before doing the mathematical proof for the basic proportionality theorem. But we will talk about that later. Okay. So for now, we will concentrate on how to find out the area of the triangle. So here we have a triangle and we shall name this triangle J, K, L. So the formula for finding out the area of a triangle, you've known this right from the upper primary classes. It's area of a triangle equal to half into base into height. Okay, this is a straightforward formula. Uh, area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height. So you just need to determine the base and the height and you can find out the area of the triangle. So you must remember that we can choose any side of the triangle as base. Here we have three sides of the triangle, JK, KL and JL. We can choose any of these sides as base. So if I choose KL here as my base, what will be the height of the triangle? The height of the triangle will be the perpendicular distance from the third vertex to the base. Now what is the third vertex? Every triangle has three vertices. In this case, we have vertex J, vertex K and vertex L, right? Now this base KL has already taken up two vertices K and L. So the third vertex is J. So that is the third vertex. Which means that if I choose JK as base, then the third vertex will be L. And if I choose JL as base, then the third vertex will be K. So the perpendicular distance, like in this case, the perpendicular distance JA from the vertex J to the base KL that is known as the height of the triangle. What do we mean when we say perpendicular distance? Perpendicular distance is a line which makes an angle of 90 degree with the base KL. That is what is meant by the term perpendicular. So the area of the triangle will be half into KL which is the base into height JA. What if I choose JK as base? If I choose JK as base, you can clearly see here that I cannot draw any line from the point L. L is the third vertex, right? I cannot draw any line from the point L to JK, which will be perpendicular to JK. Or we can say that there is no line from the point L that will make a 90 degree angle with JK. So how do we choose the height here? In order to determine the height, we have to extend JK. If you watch here, even if we extend JK along K, we still cannot draw any line from the point L to JK extended, which will be perpendicular to JK. So we can try to extend JK along J. So if we extend JK along J, now we can see that we can draw a line from the third vertex L towards this line JK which extended, which will make a 90 degree angle with the line JK. So here we can draw this line here. And let us name this line as LB. Now this line LB makes an angle of 90 degree with the line JK which is now extended. So LB now is the height. So the area of our triangle here will be half into JK into LB. Why? Because the base we have taken as JK and LB is the height of the triangle when we take JK as base. All right. So what I want you to do now is to pause the video, try to find out the area of a triangle if we take JL as base. Remember that it doesn't matter if you get it right or wrong, all right? What is important is that you've tried and that is learning, okay? So let us see here. If you take JL as base, then our third vertex will be K. We cannot draw a line from the point K which will be perpendicular to JL. Okay, so what do we do? We have to extend JL. We can see that if we extend JL along L, we still cannot draw a line from the point K, which will be perpendicular to JL. So what do we do? We have to extend JL along J. If we extend JL along J, we will get this line here, which is perpendicular to JL extended. And we shall name this line as uh, KC, or you can name it as anything that you want to name it. It doesn't matter. But I'll name it as C. So I have this height KC here. So the area of my triangle here will be half into JL, which I've taken as base, into KC. 
which is the height of the triangle when JL is taken as base.